What's up guys and welcome back from the Diablo 3 starter build. This one's going to be for the monk. Now the purpose of this is to show that without legendaries, all rares, no paragon points. See, I think all my paragon points out. And for the cube, i uh, just put a bunch of worthless stuff in here. What I'm going to show is that with this build, you can get into Torment 1, Nephilim Rifts, clear them, and start farming to get gear for better builds. Now, as far as stat priorities go, you're looking for fire damage on your bracers and on this I have actually split I've got cold damage on my amulet fire damage on my bracers fire damage is gonna handle exploding palm mystic ally dashing strike and uh, the cold and also crippling wave and the cold damage is more or less gonna be dedicated for sweeping wind because it's gonna be doing a lot of damage as well put emeralds in all your gear I put a diamond in my helm for a CDR and then you're just looking for you know crit damage crit chance I have some you know damage plus on one weapon and I've got damage against elites on the other and you know exploding palm and sweeping wind damage crippling wind and I'm just trying to get these mod like these mu multipliers spread out as much as possible and it puts me at about 355,000 which is not bad to start off with and that's just you know normal rare gear that you find and you just take over the enchantress and you just modify it to work for you all right let's go over the skills for the primary, we're going to be using Crippling Way with Mangle, and then for our technique here, we're going to use Exploding Palm with Essence Burn, and then we're going to use Blinding Flash with Faith in the Light, Dashing Strike with Radiance, Mystic Ally with Fire Ally, Sweeping Winds with Master of Wind. Our passives are going to be Relentless Assault, Mythic Rhythm, Harmony, and Seize the Initiative. Now, the way all these abilities work, and we'll go into a rift and I'll show you how everything is. When you go into a fight, you're going to try to work more in density than anything else. You're going to use Crippling Wave to just start, you know, hitting dudes to generate spirit. And then just start applying, you know, Exploding Palm on as many guys as possible. When you hit Blinding Flash, it's actually going to give you a damage increase. So you can do this if there's a lot of mobs, you're taking a lot of damage, or it's a champion or lead pack. Dashing Strike is going to be used to get around the rift but also if you dash and strike into density it's going to give you a temporary 15% attack speed increase and then mystic ally is going to be fire mystic he's going to it's going to explode for 80% weapon damage and then it'll also regen a regular size mystic ally for just added damage sweeping wind is the big one once you get sweeping wind once you get into density tap sweeping winds and it'll stack up to three times and it'll just do AOE damage around you that's why we want damage or cold damage on our amulet or bracers or whatever have you and maintaining this stack of three and pushing and just grabbing density as much as possible is how you're gonna get guys down really really quick so with all that being said we're gonna go ahead and jump into a Nephilim Rift here and I'll just kinda show you the process here I'm just gonna get in here some density and just start you know getting that sweeping winds up you see it's swir swirling around me it's just gonna do a lot of damage to guys in anywhere around me exploding palm is useful for taking down champion or lead packs with density because you can put exploding palm on the guys around them and then it'll just you know when they when they die they'll explode and that collateral damage will do a lot of damage to them but the single target damage i.e. the rift guardian fights isn't as bad as it is on other classes at this level but uh it does take a minute looked out with a conduit pylon so see everything's just you know other than conduit pylon we can let it you know take down if you want just to see the damage but you will run into those too so it's not really giving us a good example <laughs> it's just kind of killing everything but yeah it's pretty simple and like dashing strike into these guys gets you know attack speed up and then once conduit's gone we'll be able to actually see the rotation a little bit more there it's gone now and alright so here's this guy blinding flash you see it's just real simple stuff keeping sweeping winds up is the most important thing that's a lot of your AOE damage and there you go not too difficult this uh... this rift is you know the density is really horrible so I'm trying to get to the next level hopefully it's like an open area we can actually get a lot of mobs but as you can see I'm not really having any difficulty here every time I dashing strike my attack speed goes up and if I get into a big mob of guys you blinding flash and just keep sweeping winds stacked up and then alternate and just you know put exploding palm on as much guys as possible so let's see you got speed pylon thank goodness 
we're just gonna run through here and see what we can find all right here's a champion pack we have no conduit so we're just gonna like you know use all of our abilities use blinding flash and all that stuff and just kind of show how much damage sweeping winds actually does and you see we have the floating palm up on several guys and I don't really like try to micromanage it. I don't think I put a lot of thought into what I'm putting exploding palm on. I just make sure I keep it up on mobs so when they do die, it's added damage. But see, we took down that pack pretty quickly. Blinding flash into here. Get sweeping wind up. It's already at three stacks now, and you see, just taking them down. You will have times where you're going to take a little bit of damage, and that's just from the fixes like fire and whatnot. But just if you have to, just move out of that stuff. And your survivability is actually pretty decent for being such a low level on this build. These fire chains actually might cause me a problem. That's why I'm gonna try to like get these guys down pretty quick. They all have exploding palm on them. Just gonna take them down. See that? Not a big problem. And with this build, farming torment one, you can pretty much do this right after hit 70. Just tweak your stuff with the uh, mystic and you'll be good. There you go. Good stuff. Let's just kinda keep going through here. I do want to show you the Rift Guardian fight. It will be a little bit slower depending on what the Rift Guardian is, but you won't have any problem surviving. It's just going to be kind of like keeping the rotation up. All right, so we're waiting on Spirit to get Sweeping Winds up. There, we got Sweeping Winds active. It's at three stacks, and see, once Sweeping Wind goes up with that cold damage on my amulet, it gives it a little bit more of a bonus. Gonna get Blinding Flash out. There we go. Look, they just go right into the next champ or champion pack here. Now we're doing is just maintaining sweeping winds, getting Mystic Ally up, blinding flash. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. We got a lot of fixes going on. If you have, to, you can you know spec into more survivability with the Mystic, but for the most part, out of the box, you should do pretty well. Just getting these champion elite packs like back to back is great. Alright, get this guy down. And these range guys you kinda have to, you know, follow around a little bit. Try not to shift hold attack as much because a lot of guys will move around and you can just end up punching air. Alright, so let's see if we win, down, get that death breath. And let's see if we can find the next big group of dudes. If you go fast enough you can maintain three stacks on sweeping winds, but at low torment levels like this density is just kind of lacking it's, it's so it's kind of hard to maintain it 100% let's go down here keep us down here three guys <laughs> hey guys suits up here nothing see it's just kind of like you know a couple guys here a couple guys there we're gonna move on to the next area though because I kind of I know this tile set it's gonna be like in three different sections we pretty much got all the main stuff here, like three champion packs all right there, so we lucked out. Look at another conduit. This will help us get to the Rift Guardian faster. If I can just not be feared. See that? And the thing about conduit is it, it scales off of your uh, weapon damage or your d DPS. And also the difficulty and all that stuff too. So the better your gear is, then the higher damage conduit's going to be doing. So the fact that conduit's just completely wrecking this place is a good sign that my gear is in the right spot for what I'm trying to farm. Because that's what Conduit's supposed to do. Conduit is supposed to do exactly what it's doing here and just, you know, one-shotting guys. So if you're in a higher grade of Rift or something, you grab Conduit and it's just doing a little bit of damage, then that's just going to tell you right now that your, your equipment is not necessarily as optimized as it is for the level that you're farming. That's at least my theory on the, on the matter. All right, just making our way through these really small packs of mobs. Dashing strike down here. We're just trying to find any champion or elites, you know, just to kind of speed things up. That's a dead end, of course. Yeah, <laughs> sweeping wind almost dropped right there. Not a big deal if it does, but you know, we like to maintain our spirit and our sweeping winds, and we just keep guys, you know, in it. Finally, this guy burrows too, so we're just gonna try to like focus him down. Also, there's that mob that's giving him armor. If you see that, you do need to get those guys down. These little round, these blood clan guys, because they'll just randomly give a crap amount of armor to certain mobs, and it can just kind of like slow you down. Alright, let's 
So we're staying out of this frozen affix. We're gonna dashing strike in. We're just maintaining sweeping winds. See that? Once you that's what single target looks like when you're on the Rift Guardian. You're gonna be on top of the dude. Just using crippling wave and all that good stuff. We're almost there. So this is good actually. We have a lot of density for the Rift Guardian. This uh, champion will actually help us just kind of maintain a lot of the uh, buffs. He's cold, so we're probably gonna die here actually. Oh, we saved it. Yeah, sledge here. We got this guy. We gotta get rid of because we want to be able to actually get onto the the Rift Guardian and kind of do a lot of damage to him, and we don't want to do it with that cold there. And as you can see here, like that slam is really really tough. We're not going to have the benefit of just kind of like standing on top of this Rift Guardian and taking him down. We can as long as our, if our live on hit is good, we can do it. But like, you see that? Just like diminishing returns. We have to get this guy behind him down just so we can not take any extra damage. These guys are just really annoying as Rift Guardians because that one attack is what they just use over and over. So if you're trying to like set up, just do a lot of damage right away and just try to stay in one spot really difficult to do. We're gonna stay right next to him. We've almost got him though. So as you can see there you just gotta prioritize your ads. Just you know it's very situational. But there it is. Hope this video helped you if you want to start a monk next season or if you just want to you know learn more about it. If you like Diablo content or Blizzard content in general hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button to see more and I'll see you guys next time.